Hi there, my name is Ndota Wambura. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Um, today, I just want to go ahead and begin talking about the most frequently asked question on my inbox, which is about weight. I have a lot of questions, but today I'm going to go ahead and tackle where fat goes when you begin losing those pounds. Have you ever thought about it? Where does it go? Does it just evaporate into thin air? Or do you go ahead and excrete it? Or uh, do you breathe it out? The answer to these three questions is yes, yes, and yes. You actually breathe it out, you excrete it, and you actually go ahead and use it as energy. So depending on what type of diet that you might have decided to take up, it could be keto, it could be intermittent fasting, Mediterranean diet, it could be Atkins diet, uh, paleo diet, um, you might be just juicing or maybe detoxing hmm? or you might be just doing a quick uh, regimen that you read online uh, about extreme exercising or trendy challenges to help you exercise better all this manner of things that we read on the media anyways whichever the regimen that you are doing weight loss is quite personal so what works for one person might not work for the other person also the way you gain the weight uh, varies from one person to the other it could be genetics sedentary lifestyle medical condition that caused you to uh, gain so much weight or it could be the relationship that you have with food whichever it is when you set out to shed those pounds your body actually goes ahead and metabolizes the fat reserves that you have been keeping in your body remember your body is an engine that we talked about that is fueled from the energy that you get from the carbohydrates, proteins, and the fats. So, when you put your body into a diet where you are eating so much less, what your body interprets is that you require energy from the reserves that you have, the reserves being the fat. So, what it's going to go ahead and do is to start breaking down that fat into a series of chemical processes and provide you energy. In the process, carbon dioxide and water is produced. You excrete the carbon dioxide uh, by exhaling while you excrete the water in the form of uh, sweat and urine. All right, so scientists estimate that you need 29, at least 29 kilograms of oxygen to break down 10 kilograms of fat. But this process has to happen while you're having to eat much, much less and you're deeply inhaling and exhaling. So does that mean that you just can sit down and deeply inhale and you're going to exhale uh, the fat? No, you might just hyperventilate if you do that. So in any case, what this means is that you need to put your body under an exercise regimen. It could be 30 minutes, it could be one hour, depending on the choice that you have. You need to put your body under an exercise regimen that allows you to deeply inhale and exhale for you to be able to burn fat while at the same time eating way, way, way much, much less. So this concept was discovered in the year 1770 where scientists uh, understood that fat molecules do not necessarily leave your body. They are simply transformed in the midst of the oxygen that you breathe. So which means that all these manner uh, of diets that you might put yourself into could actually just be uh, within the same concept of fat metabolism. Obviously, depending on uh, the diet, for instance, if you put yourself on intermittent fasting, that means that you have long periods of uh, time without having to eat anything. 
then your body is going to go ahead and produce the human growth hormone that stimulates the fat metabolism. So this human growth hormone is produced and interacts with the oxygen that you're breathing to be able to break down the fat, all right? So there you have it, that is where the fat goes. So you are able to break down the fat um, into energy to fuel your body and carbon dioxide that you exhale as well as water that you lose through sweat and urine. So it's quite the simple concept that you need to understand before you can even begin taking up on any uh, diet regimen or exercise regimen. So from there, you can be able to see whether do you want a quick fix or do you want something that is sustainable? Make the choice. Remember, you are what you eat. So do it right, make the right choices. Until next time, Keep subscribed. Bye-bye. See the light. www.lightandcaptivity.com Kenya's leading photography and cinematography resource for your corporate and individual needs.